Uh, first tattoo I ever got, I was five years old. Uh, my father owned, at that time, that was his first tattoo shop. Um, I remember I was a little kid, always running around a tattoo shop, and uh, I would always sit in the chair and I'd be like, Dad, I want ink, I want ink, I want ink. And he would always give me a pen mark, and then, I don't know, one day he just said, all right, I jumped in a chair, and it was just after he tattooed someone, so he gave me a dot. Close to about 80 hours worth of work, um, almost 30 in my chest, and then close to 25 and 30 in each sleeve. I have nine, I got eight all in one year because I used to walk by a tattoo shop in college, and every day I'd be like, what's going on? <laughs> I see a lot of young cooks and a lot of chefs with tattoos. For me, it was just, you, you know, that was, my, that was my upbringing. I mean, my father was a tattoo artist. Um, at the Pinnacle, we had five tattoo shops up in uh, the Jersey Shore. Yeah, but I can't draw two stick figures. I can't draw two stick figures. It, my, my inspiration comes out, I guess, in my cooking, and that's my art. Chefs are artistic, and for me, when I was growing up, I always had an artistic mind and I, I could never draw or I could never paint. It never came out quite right and then I found food. And then I started to see that there was an artistic form and I could make that dish mine. And that's where my head started to go and the same kind of went in with tattoos. As soon as I started getting them, I saw it was more than just ink on skin. It was an art form. I don't know. We just were creative people. Creative people like to show who they are on their skin and I got it about Six months ago, here in Las Vegas at Bad Apple Tattoo, Johnny Five. He drew it up, I had a mixer idea, because that's like kind of the base of baking, because I'm not just cupcake, we're not just cake, it's everything. I do have a food-related tattoo. It's something that isn't exactly up to my chef standards, but something that me and my friends would grow up with, and uh, maybe not grow up with, because that would be kind of bad. We all got Irish car bomb tattoos. There's, a, there's five of us running around now with with that tattoo. We grew up on the beach. I grew up in Asbury Park, so it's the ocean. And I'm, I was just always in love with the sun. So my dad just did a freehand tattoo of the sun on my back, on my upper back. I'll never get another tattoo, just because he's not alive. And uh, you know, it was his canvas, his art piece. You know, it's a piece of me, you know, he's on me.